New developments tonight in the GBI investigation of Sheriff Kibo Taylor and his effort to shut down most bonding companies in Gwinnett County. Yeah, former Sheriff Butch Conway testified Taylor told him the same thing he said during a secret recording. If the new sheriff didn't have the support of bonding companies, he would shut them down. Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis continues his investigation. What are we to make of this video? It's extortion. Former Georgia Attorney General Mike Bowers prosecuted many extortion cases in his career. Now he's suing on behalf of three former Gwinnett bonding companies, including the one at the center of this video. Everybody that I've gone to, I'm like, hey. Two years ago, then Sheriff Hopeful Kibo Taylor decided to drop by all the bonding companies in Gwinnett, places that for years had vouched for people to get them out of jail, putting up their bail money, and charging each client 10% as their fee. But it's what Taylor said on his visit to Anytime Bonding that has him facing a GBI investigation. The co-owner of Anytime, Scott Hall, saved only that 25 second portion of the visit, eventually texting the video the following year to GBI Director Vic Reynolds. That was shortly after Taylor won the Democratic nomination for Gwinnett Sheriff. Anytime did not support Taylor. And on his first day in office, Taylor did just as he had promised in 2019. Did you put any time out of business because they wouldn't give you any money? No, sir. We did not ask them for any money. You asked them for support. For support, that's correct. Well, how are they supposed to interpret that? Support comes in many different ways. Taylor said if any time had kept the entire video, it would have shown he was talking about supporting his social programs, like book bags for kids. In a hearing, the manager in this video testified, Taylor said no such thing. You think when he said support, he was talking money? Unless you're deaf, dumb, and blind, that's the only thing you could take away from it. The sheriff believes Gwinnett has too many bonding companies and wants only the four most financially healthy ones to do business here. Last week, a judge dismissed a lawsuit filed by one of the companies that didn't make the cut. But court records show anytime bonding is financially secure writing $834 million in bonds across Georgia since 1994. So what happened? Well, it all stems from a dinner last September here at a prominent Gwinnett County Steakhouse, a dinner arranged to clear the air about that video. Anytime's co-owner Scott Hall gave Taylor a $2,500 check as a campaign contribution for the November election, promising him that he wouldn't give that video to Taylor's opponent. Everyone said they left the meeting satisfied. So imagine Taylor's surprise when, after the election, he got a call from the GBI. I wouldn't have had a problem with anything that Scott had came in and said as long as he was being honest. Taylor never deposited that check. Convinced he couldn't trust Anytime's co-owner, on his first day in office, Taylor refused to renew the company's bonding certificate, citing his ability to ban someone not of good moral character. He just says he wishes your client had told him it was him. That, that would have been the honest way to do it. Well, he, he can say that all he wants to, but he can't deny our client the ability to make a living selling bonds. In an April hearing, former Sheriff Butch Conway testified Taylor came to visit him after the election, but before taking office, and also mentioned bonding companies. Conway testified Taylor told him he wasn't going to do it like I had been doing it, that he would let people write bonds if they supported him. If they didn't support him, they wouldn't be in the bonding business in Gwinnett. In that same hearing, Taylor told the court Conway was lying about their conversation. Well, here's a fact everyone can agree on. If Sheriff Taylor shut down every Gwinnett bonding company that did not support him, there'd be few left here. Not a single one gave Taylor any campaign money, although one owner did contribute through a different company he controlled. That means at least three still allowed to write bonds never gave Taylor anything. If he's allowing bonding companies that did not support him, to operate in Gwinnett County, doesn't that defeat your argument? No, because the argument doesn't depend on who supported him or who didn't. The argument depends on does the sheriff have the authority to do what he did? So far, the courts have said he does. In Lawrenceville, Randy Travis, Fox 5 News.